What is up, you guys? I just wanted to make a short video about coronavirus. I'm going to try and release a podcast on Tuesday with many more details about this from my perspective. Uh, there has been a lot of talk on social media today. Uh, a couple of people, specifically Lane Norton, really trying to distort my words, distort my message about this virus and the impact that it's having on all of us. I really want to clear the air here, make it crystal clear what my views are on this virus and the impact that our diet and lifestyle can have on it, okay? So it's been kind of stressful for me dealing with this with Lane today. Um, I, I really think that he is misrepresenting my words. I had made some posts last week saying that I was very concerned about the messaging around coronavirus, which was mostly based on fear. And my intention with those posts was to point out that in order to be the healthiest humans, we need to think about our immune system. And I think there's a large amount of evidence, a large amount of data to suggest that what we eat and how we live affects that. Everyone is saying the same things. Lane is saying that, I'm saying that. We might approach it a little differently, but I think no one is going to debate that our health as humans is tied to the things we eat and how we live our lives. Exercise, sunlight, sleep, and diet. These are crucial. These are absolutely crucial pieces of how we live as humans. I was hoping to shift the conversation to these things and not to marginalize, not to downplay the importance of hand washing or social isolation. Right now, it does look like the virus is going to spread quite a bit and many of us will be affected by it. I think it's going to claim a lot of lives and that's incredibly sad. I think that we all know people who may be negatively affected by this virus, parents, grandparents who may be more frail than we are. My point with the original messaging around this was not to downplay the virulence, the infectivity, or the gravity of this infection, but merely to empower people and to help quell some of the hysteria and the fear. Unfortunately, like I said, a lot of that messaging is being misused and used against me right now, which I think is disappointing because ultimately I think that we need to be banding together as humans right now and not trying to be separate or really trying to criticize other people. I've never claimed that a carnivore diet can cure the coronavirus. I've never claimed that a carnivore diet will prevent any of us from getting a, carnivore, a coronavirus, right? But what I am saying is that in the face of an infection, whether it's coronavirus or any of the other infections that we are going to experience as humans on this planet throughout our lives, being healthy humans is a critical piece of that. I want us all to know that we have things we can do. We don't need to hide in our houses watching Netflix and eating junk food and worrying about running out of toilet paper, right? We can exercise, be with people we care about, maybe not be in large social gatherings, but eat good food. Now, I happen to also believe that eating good food is eating a lot of animal food, right? And so one of the things I said in previous posts was, look, I don't think plant foods are a great part of a healthy diet. You guys know this, this isn't something radical. I wrote a book about this, right? And that's what I'm saying, that if you want a healthy immune system, I really believe that we are going to get more of our nutrients from animal foods. It's not saying you can't eat plant foods or that plant foods are gonna make you weak, but if the majority of your diet is from plant foods and it's nutrient deficient, which most plant food based diets are, then yeah, I think you could be more susceptible to a coronavirus or any illness. That's my messaging. We all know people who are going to be susceptible to this virus who have weakened immune systems. We all do. I'm not downplaying the gravity of this infection or what we should do to combat it. I'm simply stating that we don't need to be needlessly fearful or excessively fearful about this. This, this is cause for concern, right? But hysteria and fear solves nothing. Hysteria and fear solves nothing. What can we do? That's what I'm focusing on with my messaging. And I'm so sad and really disappointed that people like Lane are twisting the message potentially for their own gain. To me, I'm just gonna be honest. I invited Lane on my podcast. It looks like he is doing this to make himself look like the hero. People out there may know that Lane and I have a history. We debated a year ago. We see not eye to eye on things, but I appreciate his message and his intention. I don't appreciate his methods. I think that he's often just emotionally driven and looking to make other people look bad so that he looks good. This isn't a personal thing between me and Lane per se. I've invited him on my podcast. I'd love to discuss this publicly so that everyone can really hear the different sides of the issue with coronavirus. Again, I'm not claiming a carnivore diet can cure coronavirus, but I am suggesting that we do have some 
agency over how we act and live in the face of infections in general. So hopefully this clears things up um, and hopefully we can just get on with our lives and live well, live radically. Some people are criticizing me for calling, saying that. I talk about it in my book. That's just all the things we all are already doing, being in the sun, exercising, sleeping well. This is That's what I'm talking about. And then people are saying that that's not gonna help with coronavirus. The messaging here is all mixed up. Anyway, you guys get the point. I'm not claiming the coronavirus is escapable or curable with a carnivore diet. I've never claimed that. Nor am I claiming that a carnivore diet is going to prevent the spread, nor am I claiming that this is something we should ignore. I think it's something we should all pay attention to and something we should all be aware of for all the people in our lives, especially those who are not as robust, as healthy as we are, and think about ways we can help them through this time of the illness. So hopefully this clears things up. I'm gonna tag Lane this video um, because this is a little crazy what's going on today. But anyway, hopefully this clears things up. I'll see you guys on Tuesday for the podcast. Love you all.